This is a modern landscape we all recognize. It could be almost anywhere in the country, perhaps even anywhere in Europe. But in fact, though, it's not. It's here in Nottingham. Xenotech manufactures peripheral things for the computer industry. With a total workforce of just over 86 people and an annual turnover to match, Xenotech and the light industrial estate on which it thrives typify the type of high-tech infrastructure that has sprung up in the last 30 years all over Nottingham. The company is run by Peter Wilson. Xenotech? Yes, hello. Sue Rudkin is his personal assistant, secretary and general backwoman. If you'd like to wait a minute, I'll just yeah. let Mr. Wilson know the Actually, if you'd just ignore me and carry on. Your Mr. Mallard is here to see you, Mr. Wilson. Right, thank oh, you, Sue. Uh, Mr. Well, Wilson just... is seeing you now, yes, Mr. Mallard. Um, and here's a copy of your itinerary for the day. Right, thank you. You've um, already arrived and been good. Yeah, today. actually, you know, it'd be really nice just to kind of stay in the background and see how things develop naturally. You're doing that between 11.30 and 12, look. Oh, right, good. Right, thank yeah. you, Sue. You can, uh, you can leave this one with me. Surely, no problem at all. And you will be moving your car, won't you? Pardon? My background was in electronics rather than out-and-out -out management, so uh, well, this was a major opportunity for me. Right. And the learning curve at the start was more or less exponential. Was it? Good. Peter has been managing director at Xenotech for six years, yeah, though that wasn't it. always the case. He was product manager for a company in Reading producing integrated mother circuitry when in 1994, without warning, he suddenly found himself out of a marriage. Surface mount technology, it's a, yeah. it's a very stimulating environment to work in. But yeah, See, the marketplace is in a constant state of flux. Yes, when you say surface mount technology, oh, what... Oh, sorry, yes, yes. Uh, we make thick film hybrids. Oh, right, I see. Good. So um, it's a sort of environment... Well, you've got to run if you want to stand still. Right, yes. And presumably you don't want to stand still. No, if you stand still, you go backwards. Right, yes. So what, you're, you're running, but you're running in the opposite... I mean, you're running... Oh, no, we're for running the... forwards. I mean, that's the whole point. Of course, yes, because otherwise you'd be what, running, standing still and going backwards all at the same time. Yes, and obviously you can't afford to do that. No, hopeless. Brian Peach is Xenotech's chief technical engineer. You'll have to excuse my squash kit. Right. Mm. It's just that I had a game this morning before I came to work. Oh, well, how did you get on? Doesn't matter, that's not the point. Right, um, so, what is it... Have you moved your car yet? Not yet, no. Well, I would do if I were you, because Sue's... Yeah, I know, yeah. Um, so what is it that you actually make here? Thick film hybrids. Within the company, it's widely acknowledged that Brian Peach has a better grasp of what thick film hybrids are than practically anything else. I mean, this is all we're talking about. This is a simple multi-layered PCB. Right. Perhaps you could describe it in layman's terms. Well, in layman's terms, it's a bit of plasticky looking stuff with some coloured wavy lines on it, some really very small wire things and knobbly bits sticking out all around the sides. OK. What about if you described it in scientist's terms? But I, I mean a normal scientist. OK. Well, the thick film part of it basically explains itself. Oh, right, I see. And all the hybrid part of it, it's just the process of bonding the surface mount components to the basic substrate using a combination of thixotropic paste, reflow induction masking and bare dye pick-and-place technologies. And that's all? Yeah. Well, obviously in practice there's a bit more to it than that. OK. So what does a typical day consist of for you? Well, there's really no such thing as a typical day. Right. Well, what does an untypical day consist of? Well, today, for example, we've got the Japanese coming in. The Japanese? Yeah, a couple of guys from Yamasushi. Oh, right. Yeah, they're a huge company. You probably own lots of things that are made by them without realising it. Anyhow, amongst other things, they are very big in precisional thermostrates. Are they? Oh, yes. As well as ordinary chip-on-board circuits. Oh, yes, of course, I've got one of those. I suppose what I try to do is organise everything mm. so that nothing's left to chance and Peter's free to concentrate on the more important things. Right. I mean, it's a good example today, the Japanese coming, it's very important everything runs smoothly. Yeah. Right from the minute they arrive here. Yes, but I mean, I thought it was all right to park there. It said visitors. Exactly. It's very important those spaces are empty. Yes, but... In fact, they're not spaces unless they're empty. Yes, but, I mean, how... I mean, I'm assuming it is your car, some sort of Mazda That's thing. It's a Nissan Sunny. Yeah, sludge coloured. Actually, it's midnight sand. And then once that's complete, the surface is encapsulated, right, usually using a kind of phenolic resin. Hmm. And then finally, that itself goes under another layer of protective encapsulant or a glob top. Hmm. So, do you play a lot of squash? I play about once a day on average, usually more than that. Oh, so you must be pretty good then. I wouldn't say good exactly, compared to these young guys that hit the ball like a ton of bricks. Right, but is that your trophy though? 
that, well, yeah, I did finally manage to win something in the club tournament this year. I mean, I was runner-up. Well, still, that's some... And it was the handicap competition. I'm sorry, I had no idea. I think that's fantastic. There can be quite a lot of pressure sometimes, but that's OK. When things go right, you can get quite a buzz. Lisa Bell is Zenatech's sales director. Pays the mortgage on the flat, which is useful. Get a decent car, of course, too. I would say decent, it's not a Porsche. It's just an Audi, just an A3. So, you know, 1.8, 16 valve. Oh, is that William Tell? No, it's just messages. Yeah, and the ringing tone, is that something you chose yourself, or...? Oh, this has got about 40 different tones you can choose from. I chose that one because it's fun. Good. So how many people do you have under you here as managing director? Everybody, all of them. Right, I see, yes. So, but, I mean, in terms of management structure, what, uh, what is it? OK, right, well, it's, it's basically a... Why don't I draw it for you? Oh, well, that might be... Um... Let me just let me just move this out of the way because I'm uh, I'm sure you don't want to look at it. Okay. And uh, it will only be in the way. Right. Let's just uh, get rid of it. Right. She's a lovely girl. Yeah. So that's, uh, Chrissy, she's uh, sitting on a little wall. Uh, right. So have you any other children? Chrissy's my wife. God. Good. We were married last January. Um. Congratulations. I know. Right. Now, this is me. Oh, right, yes, that's very good. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Um... At 33, Lisa Bell is the youngest member of the management team ever to have been taken on as a woman. After graduating with a geology degree from Lancaster University, she spent five years working on an oil rig, first of all off Norway, and later, after severe weather, off Denmark. I couldn't physically do my job without this. Really? I'm on the road so much, I probably do two, three thousand miles a month which is why a 16 valve is so handy. Never go back to an eight now. Right. Full air con. No. So... E Clunk. Mm. So, each day for you is different? Oh, yeah. Occasionally I'm actually in the office for a day, but then I'm off again leading a course, training people, or I'm hiring and firing. Ka-chunk! Clunk! Mm. And then today I'm doing a thing for the Japanese, which should be fun. You're, you're doing a thing? For some reason, Peter's asked me to do the presentation. <laughs> Don't ask me why me. Don't know why I think it's a good idea to have me standing up there in front of everyone. <laughs> Is it your projector? And finally, over here, we have our quality assurance manager. Right, I see, yes. So basically, you make the big decisions and then they try and find ways of making that work. Well, not really, no, no. That's a, that's a very top-down model of management. Top-down? You know, the reality these days is much more bottom-up. Right. Uh, would it help if I turned it round? Um, well, oh yes, that, that's yes, that's much more. Well, it's completely bottom up, isn't it? Mm. You see. Mm. Working on the oil rigs was great fun at the time. It was well paid. I had time to travel. I was in my twenties, and of course, there was an unlimited supply of men. So, what made you decide? We were virtually queuing up. Yeah. So, what made you decide to change direction? I don't know really. Living like that's fine when you're young and single, but you can't do it forever. So, you're married now. God no. Far better things to be doing with time than that. Can't be doing with all that. You're far too much fun. You're not married, are you? Uh, well, I am actually, yes. Well, seriously? Yes, I am. God. Oh. Is that supposed to? Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, I've told him you'd like to see him at four o'clock today. Right. It's fine. Am I free then? Well, Sue said. Oh, that yeah, you're fine, okay. Well, I think we're just going to have to come right out and tell him. I don't think. Meanwhile, back in the managing director's office, Peter is in the middle of a meeting with his production manager, but Tony Morgan. It, it's very tough on him. The thing about Dean is, he's actually very good at what he does. Yeah, yeah. He's also a very nice bloke. He's a good man. Dean Trussler was taken on as Zenatech's delivery driver only two years ago after the previous driver ran over some potentially important German clients. But now, as part of a review of its corporate strategy, the company has decided to radically simplify its in-house transport systems by not having any. I mean, it's getting more and more difficult. He was on again this morning about when we're going to replace the transit. Oh, dear. Yeah, to try and change the subject gently. Really? What to? Not replacing it. Yeah, good, good. Excuse me, Tony. 
Hello, I'm a bit busy at the moment. Can you ring? No, Sue. So, Sue. So, Sue, so it's me. No, Sue, so, stop. It's really me. It's not the answering machine. That's all right. Yeah, just a minute, I'll ask him. Have you moved your car yet? Yes, I have, yes. So, what a clean room is, basically, is a completely controlled environment. Right. There are different classifications. What you're about to see is class 5,000. 5,000, really? Yeah, the uh, surface mount technology processes are quite tricky, actually. They're extremely sensitive to... Thick film hybrids are extremely sensitive to damage by dust. contact with tiny, tiny airborne particles of dust, minute or amounts of static electricity, or large airborne particles so of dust. the classification number Ooh. of the room relates to the proportion of particle oh. debris in the air. The lower the number, the cleaner. Yeah. Uh, you all right there? Um, yes, I'm fine, thanks. It, it is a bit... Uh, I, think, I seem, to, seem to trap my ears. No, it goes on your foot, not on your head. Pardon? It's to go on your shoes. These are my shoes. Every aspect of the environment in the clean room is carefully controlled, from the air, which is air conditioned, to the temperature, which is also air conditioned and maintained at a constant 20 degrees, irrespective of fluctuations in the temperature inside the plastic suits. So there's no conventional production line? No, the old production line mentality wouldn't be very helpful to it here. The way that we work, we can unzip that, I'm afraid. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to... Um... We have to be very strict about that. Yes, of course, it, you know, it's starting to get a bit warm in here. No, I enjoy it here, really. It's, uh, it's all right. Right, yeah. It's clean, it's safe, and uh, at the end of the day, you actually make something. We're just like one big family here, really. Really? Yeah. See that bloke over there with the bald head? Yeah. I hate him. Right. Oh, I really love it here. It's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Really? That's quite an unusual thing to hear these days. Thank you. So, I mean, you don't seem to be attached to any of the teams. No, that's right. Yeah. Tell you the truth, I don't really work in this area. But I'm on my lunch hour, and they let me put on one of these suits and come in and watch. Right. It's brilliant. Yes. So, what is it you actually do? I'm the delivery driver. The, oh, my God. I know, it's great, isn't it? It's a pretty young staff here. Yes. I must be one of the longest serving now. I came here straight from school. Did you imagine staying here this long? No, I really have, really. Is that condensation? Y yes, it is, yes. It's very different from working in a slaughterhouse. You used to work in a slaughterhouse? No, but I mean, it's obvious, isn't it? Work it out for yourself. Yes. They let me take the transit home and everything sometimes. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, it's getting on a bit. Um, but we're getting a Mercedes turbo diesel pretty soon. No, I mean... Self-leveling suspension, a lot. Mm, good. What do you think of Mr Wilson as a boss? It's me. Oh, right. Hello. Phew. God. Uh, here. Have this. No, I'll be fine. No, no, I think you should. Um, uh, okay, mm, thank you. Uh, do you want me to hold your glasses? Um, yeah. yes, okay then, thanks. I'll just, um, oh. Oh dear, yeah, yeah that, uh, that could be a bit of baby food. Oh, right. Yeah, we've got a little one, 11 months. Thomas. Really? Yeah. You all right? Uh, yeah. I think it was cheese and lentil this morning. Yeah, or um, some sort of fish, perhaps. Yeah, yeah, that's right, tuna and egg. Yes. Yeah, we tried him on cheese and lentil, but he just sticks it up straight away. Really? How it's designed is it actually extends downwards, not upwards. I remember I went through this last time I used it. Good job I remembered I'd have been here all morning. You OK, then? Yes, I'm fine, thanks. Might want to change arms if you get tired. Right. I'm actually using both arms. Oh, OK, well, change them anyway. Right. Meanwhile, for Peter, there's a rare moment to gather his thoughts before the arrival of the Japanese. Well, normally, I like to be in the office by about quarter to eight, but um, recently, what with one thing and another, hasn't always been possible. Right. Do you, uh, do you have a... I suppose you've got children, have you? Well, we... What do you mean? a grand little chap, you know, really is, but he hasn't really got the hang of sleeping yet. Really? Do you, do you find it takes an extra toll having a very young child as an older parent? I don't mean old, obviously, I just mean, you know, more mature than very young people. Well, your wife is very young. I mean, not, not no, compared no, to no, old no, people. No, you just uh, get on with it. You just adapt. It's interesting, actually. I've got more energy now than I've ever had. Bananas were Chris's idea. You watch a lot of tennis players and athletes who practically live on these. Best natural source of potassium you can get. Right. Also, these are good. Yes. I mean, don't get me wrong. In its day, this was a good little engine, the 120. It's just that it's being overtaken by, you know... Faster ones. Exactly. 
I mean, the Mercedes 312 Sprinter, which is a new one we're getting, I mean, that is just ballistic. Well, that's, um, that is very For exciting. Dean, who's still on his lunch hour, there's a lot of time to reflect. Have you had any lunch? Um, well, not as... You keep staring at this sandwich. Oh, no, thank you. I'm, I'm not... I mean, I wasn't... Um... You can have the other half if you want. Um, well... Here you go. Get stuck in. Bacon. Linda made it. Um, well, if you're sure. It's a pleasure, Roy. Mm. Mm. It's good here, isn't it? It's is nice, yeah. I mean, for example, you sometimes hear it said that being at the top of the tree can actually be quite a lonely place to be. But, I mean, in your case, you can never really relax fully or let your guard slip or, or just let off steam. Is that a... I mean, do you... I mean, do you find that... Do you find that at all? Um. The line between success and failure in the high-tech environment is always at the margin. You lose that competitive edge. You don't history. Right. I can't remember the last time I actually stopped for lunch. Most of the time you are just running on adrenaline. Really? No, it's important to eat. Mmm. It wasn't bad. Yeah, it looked all right. Right. OK, let's just have a quick run through. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Zenith. Yes. You know what I really like? On um, bacon? Or I mean... I love driving through the night. Oh, right. You know, when everyone else is asleep and the motorway is empty, and it's winter, and they're just me going to where I'm going. I love that. Does that happen often? No. Right. I had to go to Berkshire once, in Surrey. Really? I mean, it's not easy getting a job round here unless you've got qualifications and that. Oh dear. And I love driving and I love all this high tech stuff, so it couldn't have went better for me. Hmm. Yeah. Me and Linda have just put down a new deposit on this flat. <coughs> I know it's great, isn't it? You're supposed to be able to control it with this. Well, perhaps it is. Oh, come on, I hate this. Are you sure you don't have to point it at the screen? <sighs> is the projector plugged in? No, no, it's not. Great. Well, could you just. Yes, of course. Oh, sorry. Sorry. It's all right. Okay. Right, thanks. Okay. Oh. For God's sake, I mean, we can clown bloody sheep. You'd think by now someone would have invented a projector that. Just come out your end now. Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yes, it has. I'm sorry. Right. Um, no wonder it isn't. Oh. No, around the back. Oh, right, right. Okay, yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, wonderful, terrific. Yeah, I think you can. I know. Fucking excellent. I thought you might like to be really waiting out the front for them when they arrive. Yeah, that's a good idea. I know. So I've asked Dean to keep a lookout and give us a bit of early warning. Right. Did you read the Amasushi briefing notes? Briefing notes? I prepared them and put them on your desk for you to read exactly as I suggested. Oh, those, yes. I, uh, no. Um, I, I had a lot to do at lunchtime and I got a bit fraught. Oh. Uh, leave them with me. They'll be very useful to look at after they've gone. Do you want icing on your nose? No, thanks. Don't think that'll be necessary. That's fine. Um. Oh, no. Took about two hours last night to load those slides in the correct order. I don't think it's the order. I think they're upside down. I mean, back to front. Well, and upside down. No, wait a minute. Sorry, can you just shut up? I've got to think now. Sorry? So they are in the correct order, thank God for that, at least. I'm going to have to change them all individually, one by one. I should just about make it, just. What time are they arriving? Two o'clock. Right. So how long have you got? Just under eight minutes. Right. It's two o'clock, and already the Japanese are on time. This is my PA, Sue Rudkin. No. In the early days, this was... Uh, Mr. Izumuzaki, the Director of Corporate Affairs for Yamasushi, has brought with him his Head of Technical Development, Mr. Namashito, as well as an interpreter whose name translates as Yo-Yo. 
アズゼノフィルムハイブリッドを借りたらずっと専門にやってきたのかねそれとも当初はもっと幅広い商品を扱ってきたのかねアビオルウィズスペシャライズティーのプレミムフィルオアディダカンペニーメイドワイドネンジャブトプロダクトとスタートウィズサリーサリーサリーアディンコアンアンスタンダーズ何のことかわからないそうです何を言ってるのかねおっしゃってることがわからないそうですアズゼノフィルムハイブリッドをどれぐらいやってんのかねあなたは早くしゃべりすぎると言っています。ハイブリッドがあるでしょそれをどれぐらいやってんですかって。And so liaising horizontally between the production manager, the sales director, and the works manager on the one hand. And vertically between those individuals and the. Between those individuals and the managing director and the workers manager. Between those individuals and the managing director and the workers manager. Between those individuals and the managing director and the workers manager. Between those individuals and the managing director and the workers manager. Between those individuals and the managing director Who is obviously a key figure. Ah, 会社の人には特別な番号がついています。We like to joke that he's basically two thirds accountant and two thirds lawyer. It's just our little joke. <laughs> Sorry. If we move on now to the production process itself. Ah, 生産過程に入ります。Oh, that's actually it's. You can ignore that. Ah, 無視してください。You'll just bear with me. Right.、Um, no, please don't try and help. Sorry. Right. Just bear with me. Nottingham is less than 150 miles north of south of London. It, no, I haven't finished yet. Lies in an area of England known as the Midlands. And as you can see, the Midlands are situated at the very centre of Britain's transport infrastructure. Whichever way up you put the bloody map, hence their name. The presentation over, it's time for a guided tour of the site. So, how do you think it went? Is that a joke? Well, one of the things I was thinking was that the Japanese actually read from right to left, so perhaps, well, perhaps they didn't. I mean, perhaps they thought it was the right way around. You know. What? Stay away from me. Okay. What are Mr. Izumazaki's impressions of what he's seen here today? We are at the bedding, and unfortunately, we have to go now. Right. So, has it been a useful visit? He does really not want to answer any further questions. No, no, no. Sorry. Could you ask him? Okay. 質問に答えたいですか Yeah. No, he doesn't. Right. Thank you. By four o'clock, the visit is over, and the Japanese have gone. But for the man at the top, there's no let up in the pressure, and the most difficult and delicate challenge is still to come. Dean, come in. Thank you. Have a seat. Thanks. Oh, hi. You all right then? D yeah, I'm fine. Thanks. Didn't、right. know you'd be here. This is great, isn't it?、Y、yes, it is.、Yeah. Oh, wow, cheese plant. Just、uh, mm. sit yourself down. Being cruel in order to be kind is never easy, and since Peter isn't doing this to be kind, His task now of simply being cruel is even more challenging. House plants are great, aren't they? Yes. We just went out and bought a whole load at B and Q on Sunday. Dean, the thing is, we haven't got much furniture yet, so it really cheers the place up. Yes. What I'm wanting to say to you personally, Dean, is underneath the civilized veneer, a kind of ritual ritual is being played out in which both men have their role to play. Although Dean is finding his role, which is to be made redundant, the more difficult to grasp. What I'm wanting you to understand is that we have got nothing but praise for your commitment to the company and the way you've done your job. You see what he's like. This wouldn't happen in other places, you know.、Mm. I mean, Linda, she does hair like her boss at the saloon. He just walks up to her last week and tells her she's sacked Bosch just like that. Yes, but Dean. I mean, she's no qualifications, nothing. So it's not going to be easy for her. Yes, Dean. I'm. Nobody wants her these days. No, no, Dean. But she's sort of pregnant. Oh God. You haven't quite grasped what I'm telling you. Okay. Now I want you to bear in mind everything I've said to you, but I'm afraid the point has actually now arrived, and I'm going to have to let you go. All right, smart, early. No, no, the. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Would you just excuse me a moment, Dean? No problem. <clears throat> Hello? Yes, Sue, I know who you are. Didn't I ask you to... Oh, no, of course. No, no, put her on. Hello, darling. How are you? Right, right. No, no, j just keep calm. Keep calm. I'm here. I'm here. Just keep talking and tell me. I'm here. Suddenly, out of nowhere, Peter's day has taken a left turn for the unexpected. Well, he can't have diarrhea at both ends, love. I mean, that's, that's impossible. Nice no, bloke, isn't no, he? No, mm. I'm not. No, it's I'm good, because I've got a few things to do around the van, like... Have that, you? So, yeah. Right. When you're part exchanging well, like we are, green. clean wheels are important. Right. You right. call the of course you've done the right thing. I mean, with wheels, it's like shoes. Darling, of yes. course Shoes is the first thing you look at any person if you want to find out, you know. Of course it wasn't. Yes, darling, Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Darling, what? You what? are the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you. Everything is going to be all right. Yeah, I'm going to be with you in about ten... Yeah, I love you. Yeah, I'll be... But you're not fat and useless. Of course you're not. I'm going to be with you in about ten minutes. I know that. I love you. Yeah, I love you. I'm about ten minutes, okay? <coughs> Dean, uh, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go. That's okay, Mr Wilson. I think we're just about finished anyway. No, no, we hadn't actually, Dean. We do need to talk some more. Oh, great. But I am just going to have to leave you with this. I'm going to have to part company with you for good. Oh, I see. Right, right, right. Sorry, so what does that mean? I really do have to go. Um... We'll continue this. Uh, we will. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, no, I to. Uh, no, it's fine. I, I hope it's nothing. Yeah, you know, it's not. Um... Right. So, how do you? I don't understand. Pardon? I mean, is it just me being thick? Well, well, he, he uh, you. Can you explain it to me? Explain the. What you were saying. We, well, I. You, I think it's um. Well, it's just it's just that uh, uh, the the, the, the the thing is. What's the matter? What is it? No, it's it, um. What 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 he um. But I mean, they think you're really good, obviously. All oh, right, cool. Because for yeah. a moment there, yeah, I thought they think you're really good. So, but it um. They're just gonna have to 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 make you sort of to, to let you be sort of sort of um sort of a bit redundant, really. Redundant. I'm really sorry. You bastard. Well, I... You fucking bastard. In the 70s, captains of industry were demonised as demons. In the 80s, they were lionised as often as possible. But as the millennium approaches, the challenge for people like Peter Wilson is the management of change in a world where the only certainty is that there are no certainties, except that one. You knew, didn't you? Well, um... <laughs> you let me give him a fucking bacon sandwich and everything. Well, I... No, no, thank you, it was lovely. <laughs> and don't cry. <laughs> 